So friends, welcome to the official YouTube page of Yavara Stayas Academy. So today we are going to discuss March 24, 2020 Hindu newspaper analysis from the UPSC prelims 2020 point of view. So before going into the video friends, we wanted to discuss about a fresh batch we are going to launch this year. So basically friends on March 27th of this month, we are actually planning to launch a class. Actually this is an online course. And in this exclusive class, we will be covering the India and the World series. So basically, friends, in this India and the World series, we will be targeting the map-based questions which used to appear in UPSC prelims every year. So every year, you will be getting 10 questions uh, from this map-based area only. That will be uh, like especially will be covering in this exclusive class. And this particular course will be available online from March 27, 2020. And this is a, just a seven hours class program. So each class will consist of up to one hours, and the total uh, all the continents of the world will be covered and with a special uh, preference to India also. So let's go into today's video friends. So, so basically can build a house, first article which came in the headlines is can build hospitals uh, in quick time to treat virus patients. So basically friends uh, in this aspect in this article we need to understand one thing because in case of China when the novel coronavirus made its uh, especially the epidemic status in, in case of China that time it was able to provide and construct a thousand beds with a special uh, care hospital within a matter of 10 days time. But in case of India even the best especially the construction company companies of India such as LNT, what they are actually officially they are saying is that they can able to build only 5200 to 100 seated beds. The two uh, like not even 1000 beds and for just uh, building this 100 bedded hospitals only it will take 3 to 4 months time. Within that time period only the pace at which the novel coronavirus spreads from person to person and uh, since now since it has not been declared till now as an epidemic status because this virus is still at the second stage only according to the ICMR guidelines. So basically friends we know the stage 1 is the level in which we will be getting lot of imported cases and it is the second level in which individuals will be affected, third stage in which the community transmission will be like happening and the final stage is one in which the disease will be officially declared as epidemic. So basically friends according to ICMR guidelines through random sampling method which has been conducted in our country so there is a no actually like clear evidence for community transmission in the country. So still the uh, novel coronavirus or COVID-19 is at the stage 2 level only in case of India. So next article is professionalism join hands to digitize over 900 Yaksh Ganga scripts. So basically friends this Yaksh Ganga is very important for the art and culture segment in current affairs and GS also. So basically friends those cultural aspects, art and cultural aspects which comes in current affairs those are the picky areas in which UPSC will ask prelims based questions. So let's go and study this basics also of Yaksh Ganga. So what they are discussing in this article is that especially in case of Karnataka especially where this Yaksh Ganga is practiced. So so there are actually like 900 Yaksh Ganga scripts which were actually like very ancient uh, and like especially this Yaksh Ganga scripts which was actually like uh, they were printed in 1905 and 1907 and those uh, descriptions which are contained in that particular scripts were considered to be very crucial for the practice of Yaksh Ganga artists today. So basically they have saved these scripts and they have made it digitized the proper uh, especially the scripts and they have made it online for free also and this will be useful for the Yash Ganga artist of the country. So let's go and discuss what is the basics of this Yash Ganga. So basically friends Yash Ganga is nothing but a Indian theater form only. So basically there they will be staging these dramas and all. So basically where they are practiced is very important for the prelim segment. One thing we need to understand they are practiced in southern Karnataka region and northern Kerala region. This if you remember friends you can easily pick out the districts very easily because it is found mostly starting from this Dakshin Kannada district and then Udupi and then Uttar Kannada then Shimoga and then western uh, parts of Chikmangalu districts of Karnataka but in case of Kerala it is northern parts uh, that is uh, Kasargo district in Kerala so this is the areas where this theater form is currently practiced in India so it has its unique style and form also so one more thing is friends it has its historical significance also this Yaksh Ganga was mainly developed during during the time period of Bhakti movement in India only. So this is very important fact that's why there is a high chance for UPSC to ask questions from this area in preliminary examination. And one more thing is there are many other names it is called very locally also. The kind of name Yaksh Ganga it is getting in case of Tulu region. So the Tulu Nadu region you know friends it is very important for the mapping segment also. It actually expands from southern of Udupi region that is Udupi, Mangalore regions and then in uh, northern Kerala region that is Kannur, Kasargod region up to that area it is called as Tulu not region only and that is where actually this Yaksh Ganga has its another name that is it is called as Badagutti to there. 
and actually like towards the south that is like towards the northern part that is uttar kannada region we call it as tenko kutitu so these are the other two names it have in karnataka so currently one more thing is friends regarding the subjects for this especially the theater from yashganga their stories are actually drawn from basically indian epics only ramayana mahabharata and then bhagavad gita also so both from hindu then jain religions also so it is not actually hindu religious specific it is also actually like focusing upon other religions also next article is study want of epidemic in february so basically friends uh, this is a study which has been a research which has been done in case of india only when the novel coronavirus was making its status in wuhan area of ub province especially like at the stage it was going to be declared as epidemic only that time only in case of india we have conducted a study if the novel coronavirus if it actually like uh, spreads to india also then what is the actually like total infection rate in the country so according to that what this uh, survey result what they are saying is that if the india is getting Uh, like especially like uh, getting attacked this disease at uh, the stage of epidemic means we need 5% actually like the infected persons to be placed at intensive care units of the country and this is actually considered to be very dangerous because the kind of hospital facilities and health care infrastructure we have in our country is considered to be very fragile so one more thing is friends and one more thing is half of those who are actually like admitted in the icu also need mechanical ventilation so this is why it is actually very dangerous for high risk groups so what we mean by high risk groups we have already discussed in our previous videos the high risk groups in coronavirus are the child who are less than 10 years of age and those actually like adults who are greater than 60 years of age so this is the category who are actually more high risk category according to the coronavirus status so basically this is where we need to target them and one more thing is what icmr has again reiterated to the people of the country is that still novel coronavirus although today if you see friends there are 600 plus plus cases confirmed cases novel coronavirus has been confirmed in case of india only so but still icmr has not uh, actually like clearly it has not come out with any evidence so still it according to its status it is not at the stage 3 level so there is no community transmission which is currently happening in the country since it has already randomly surveyed around 1000 people in the country and it was able to say with this with very concrete evidence next article is supreme court to go digital to maintain social distancing so social distancing as a concept we have already discussed it is a distance of 3 feet each and every individual has to maintain that is called as self quarantine condition so basically friends this especially social distancing concept has its logic so how we actually like place the hospital beds in the especially in the icu wards also the hospital beds will be placed across a fair distance of 3 feet and even in case of flights also each seating capacity will be like placed at a distance be of 3 feet only so these are the logics we use in our normal seating capacity only to maintain the concept of social distancing but now due to the various effects of this novel coronavirus reaching the state, like it is about to reach the state of epidemic in case of india soon so at that time actually like we need to have proper like especially this uh, social distance maintaining in addition to that in this article they are discussing about uh, like even the supreme court they are actually like shutting down so due to this novel coronavirus attack so one more thing is friends uh, regarding that this fact is very important so basically uh, what they have actually told the people of the country is that uh, they will only hear the urgent cases here after and this also will be actually like take, uh, taken on an emergency basis we on video app so this is what very important for the prelims examination also and this video app is named as video next article is preventive drug for uh, health care workers cleared so basically friends um, this is actually like in case of actually japan and other countries they are actually like officially even usa also they are saying that there is actually this uh, particular drug they are naming it as hydroxyl chloroquine this can be used as a prophylaxis that means what it we mean by prophylaxis means it is a drug which can be used for preventive ways in purposes and based upon registered medical medical practitioners we say rmp they are advise only we have to take this particular medicine and one more thing is friends in according to icmr guidelines this asymptomatic drug actually like uh, this uh, preventive medicine or hydroxyl chloroquine has to be given only to uh, asymptomatic asymptomatic contacts that is asymptomatic contacts so what we mean by asymptomatic contacts means uh, we have to understand the basics friends so basically what actually like even icmr and who are saying according to IC, asymptomatic contacts are the ones actually like in which the health care, health care workers who actually like uh, 
or it coming in direct contact with infected patients. So that is the one case of asymptomatic contacts. And the second one is that the immediate relatives of the infected are confirmed cases. Those we call it as asymptomatic attacks. And uh, currently, according to ICMR guidelines, this particular ways in are hydroxyl chloroquine. So this can be given. It is not actually a particular full solution for this novel coronavirus. It is just an alternative drug which can actually like control the novel coronavirus somewhat efficiently. So basically friends, this hydroxyl chloroquine is, is has to be given only to asymptomatic contacts and that too based upon registered medical practitioners advice only. So this is the, actually the ICMR recent update regarding that. And one more thing is also ICMR is also planning to come out with the domestic kits manufacturing regarding that only today in our country, my lab, it is a Pune based company friends, biopharmaceutical company. So basically it has actually come out with the indigenous domestic manufacturing of this testing kits for the novel coronavirus. So hence it can can be very handy and it can be actually like used to treat and confirm many patients who are actually like getting confirmed for the novel coronavirus. So next article is, this is the editorial article, a pandemic and economic blow and the fix. So basically we have already discussed much in detail in our previous videos only about this COVID-19. So although in our major, in our country, in the short term to medium term, we will be discussing majorly about this novel coronavirus impact on Indian economy only. But basically uh, health effect is what it is actually much in media limelight. So basically health crisis is one which has been happening. But in parallel, there is an economic crisis which is considered to be an economic tsunami for our country because the Indian uh, economy will be soon it will be officially declared to be in a state of recession after this novel coronavirus attack that is what experts are concretely saying because in the global level only the GDP growth rate of the global economy will be falling by 2% and India is actually like not actually like isolated in this particular condition and it has to also suffer in this particular case so we need to take care of the economic crisis problem in India also parallelly for that only our honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi has appointed a special task force to take care especially the economic slowdown in the country. So regarding this only this article is written and it is giving some alternative suggestions to the government what they can implement in the coming days. So basically one thing is one update regarding this especially the novel coronavirus attack now only the tourism sector which has been closed down in our country in that only around 4 crore people has actually lost employment in our country. So this is one actually like a dangerous fact which is happening in addition to that what this particular author is saying is that um, the recent close down or shutdown of the formal restaurants in the country only has actually led to more than 20, 20 lakhs people actually like it will, they will become jobless in the coming months so basically if you consider all the facts about all the formal sector this is this other is particularly talking about formal sector but the informal one it is considered to be very dangerous that's where the government has to go for economic package and that's what this author is also stressing upon there is a COVID-19 economic recovery package soon the government has to announce they cannot actually slow down this particular recovery package because in the international level only even USA which is a capitalistic economy is behaving in a welfareistic mode now they themselves have announced uh, like a cash incentive scheme a cash transfer scheme to the citizens of their country so India should also come out with such a scheme sooner than later so basically uh, in the, con the condition in which the economic recovery package has to focus upon four, four pillars that is what this author is saying that is first one has to focus upon safety net for the affected people that is the below poverty line people and then it has to take care of the disruptions in the economy which is happening now because the Indian economy is already in a state of slowdown and it may uh, soon it may be placed in a very deeper recession and third thing what he is talking about is the liquidity condition in the financial system that the RBI will take care because RBI is one of the most successful organizations in the world only so this will take care in the liquidity front that is the monetary fund but it is a fiscal level the government has to focus upon and they have to also incentivize the external sector of trade and commerce uh, this related to that already there is a rupee depreciation which is happening so our exports are actually getting very cheaper rather our imports are getting costlier this is actually leading to the problems of importing of essential medicines which we our government is planning upon this will also actually like make our novel coronavirus attack very dangerous and this author is actually suggesting that in the short term our government should provide a cash transfer scheme especially the bottom below poverty line people that is the bottom half population of the households who 
are placed in the below poverty line that is 12 crore people the government has to go for a 3000 a month for next 6 months as a cash transfer scheme to take care of their uh, coronavirus epidemic status so one more thing is friends this author is also talking about the agriculture laborers who may be affected due to this so the government has to improve upon with the help of pm kisan scheme also and it has to be included in the economic recovery package scheme also so in addition to that this author is suggesting our government should go for providing sick because already in our country the FCA is overloaded with lot of food items such as rice, wheat. So this the government can release now through its official ration shop only. There is a public distribution system. It can provide 10 kg of rice and wheat free of cost only to the people of the country and this will actually take care of their basic necessities. And one more thing is as we have discussed already in our previous videos our government should when it is going for this economic recovery package program it should minimum target 5 lakh crore. This is the basic necessity the people of the country want at this stage and it, it can be sourced in multiple ways because already we are having much savings in the sector of oil only because internationally the oil price is coming down so it has reached a status of 30 per dollar and one more thing is friends here actually like in addition rupee is actually depreciating this is actually like offsetting the gains what we are getting through this oil price this uh, rupee depreciation and concept we will discuss in another article also today so let's discuss this PM Kisan scheme basics. This is important for this year prelims examination. This scheme was started during the year of 2019 only as part of budget. It was announced during the election year that time period. So basically friends during that time period BJP government promised to the people of the country especially the farmers they will be getting 6000 per month per year and this will be done in three installments and this will be actually given as a minimum income support and this will be actually like given only to the small and marginal farmers of the country. So we have to understand the concept there is a difference between small and marginal farmers small farmers are one those who are having land area less than two hectares whereas marginal farmers have uh, land area less than that is agriculture area less than one area one hectare only so basically friends the idea of this particular scheme's main objective is to protect especially the farmers from the clutches of uh, money lenders whom they charge exorbitant interest rate so the government want to give them this as an income support in addition it can be used for buying the critical inputs like fertilizers and seeds uh, to take care of their agricultural activities. Next article is COVID-19 many tasks at hand. So actually seriously there are many tasks for the government to do because uh, now actually government has focused only upon the containment strategy. This we have already discussed so many times in our video. Second stage is one we need to go for mitigation strategy. This is where the currently the Indian government is now involved in and the third stage is one we have to go for social isolation uh, or community isolation. We are currently we are actually doing this social distancing concept at a minimal level but uh, soon a community may be like a cities can be completely shut down and its connectivity to other areas will also be shut down such a condition can arise also in future so basically friends that is the final stage still we are doing this at a meager level only so the second stage is one we are actually mitigating the virus first stage is one we are actually involved in screening the international at the airports the incoming especially the tourist of both domestic and international level currently we have shut down the international tourist only our domestic cases we have brought in so that that also we have stopped from March 22nd after we went for the Janata curfew in our country. So basically in this article the author is saying already we have done the contamination level strategy at a nice level only but there are some other issues the government has to focus upon she is saying. So basically the author is actually focusing upon so the government should actually like go and improve the testing control facilities and engaged community participation. This testing can be improved by improving the laboratory facilities. Currently in our country actually like there are 121 functional ICMR labs in our country. So all are under the government domain only. Even our government is planning to bring in additional 50 private sector labs also soon to take care of the confirmatory test regarding this novel coronavirus. But <coughs> And there are some other challenging condition also because there are a lot of rumors which are spread across the social media that is where we need the role of engaged community participation to take care of this novel coronavirus epidemic so basically friends this author is also saying that we should focus upon the vulnerable category people for whom only the hospital condition is very much necessary especially the people who are in the high risk groups currently if they get infected means their actually like complications will be much dangerous because the patients who are suffering from hiv aids and tb patients and even 
even those who have any underlying severe health medical conditions and from low income backgrounds also they will be suffering at this time period because their income source is currently cut down now due to the shutdown which is happening in the country so basically friends in the chinese level what they have done when they faced this problem is that they have actually improved their surveillance system for to take care of the control of the virus and us also actually like it is currently in talks with private companies to take care such that it should assess the phone's location data so that any person who is entering a vulnerable category or in contact with any other person or like suppose a person is getting confirmed of novel coronavirus his location history can be tackled or analyzed using that they can actually track the contact tracing method this is idea behind this scheme and india is also looking to implement this particular measure but there we have to make sure that because usa there is a much difference they have the better checks and balances in their democratic system but in case of india regarding this internet surveillance system we don't have that many checks and balances this is where our privacy may be at a stakeholder that is what this author is talking about next article is lockdown hits energy workers hard so basically friends this energy scheme is very much a pivotal scheme which takes care of the rural poverty in our country so basically now due to the novel coronavirus attack at, at least if you see friends seven states they have completely shut down um, so this energy program this is currently closed so basically according to the legal provision what we have in our country only the government should provide unemployment allowances when the government is unable to provide demand on work so as part of that even there is a lot of demand which is coming such that even the opposition parties and civil societies are demanding the prime minister to provide according to the minimum wages if you calculate only mnrg will worker will get 7000 rupees per month so that minimum month or salary that has to be issued from the government for all the rural poor households of the country this is a request which has been coming upon from civil society groups but for the prelims we have to understand the basics of narega scheme so basically it was done during the upa 1 government time period that is 2004 to 9 that time period when congress party was in power they introduced this nrg scheme this is basically a legal right only that is they provides a right to work for indian adult households so every household there is a adult members they can volunteer and go to go and do this manual work in the rural areas of the country and they will be provided at least 100 days of wage employment in a financial year so this is a government's legal provision that's why if the government is unable to provide any work within the 5 kilometers of the applicant's residence or minimum wages means then the particular and in addition to that if they is not able to provide this proper work within 15 days also it has to provide unemployment allowances to the particularly the people who have involved in that work so thank you friends if you like our video kindly subscribe to our channel and if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section